Hello my friends, welcome to Kobe's World. In today's video, I will explain to you what is good governance. Enjoy the video. First and foremost, we need to acknowledge that there is no common definition of good governance. Most governance research focuses on policies and politics, for example power relations, or on polity, meaning institutional rules and procedures. In essence, researchers of good governance ask if an organization is living up to moral standards. For governments or sport-related organizations, good governance is a way to maintain and regain public confidence. For that reason, I will give you one suitable definition that picks up on public administration but also accounts for sport organizations. That's the following. Good governance refers to the public administration process that maximizes public interest. One of its essential features is that it is a kind of collaborative management of public life performed by both the state and the citizens, and a new relationship between political state and civil society, as well as the optimum state of the two. In the context of sport, the state can be replaced with sport organization and citizens with sport petitioners like stakeholders that are part of the sport ecosystem and affected and connected to the organization. There are six essential elements of good governance. First, legitimacy, which is the recognition and obedience of authority by the community. Second, transparency and public communication, which refers to the publicity of information regarding the organization's administration such as policy making, administrative budgets, legislative activities and other relevant information. Third, accountability. That refers to personal accountability to any activity regarding an official's obligation and duties. One could also ask, is the organization fulfilling its responsibilities toward the stakeholders like sponsors and members in the case of a sport organization? Fourth, the rule of law. That refers to the principle that all should be equal before the law. Next, responsiveness and democratic processes. Responsiveness virtually points out that administrators and governing bodies must respond to citizens' uh, practitioners' demands in a timely and responsible manner. And democratic processes entail the option of influencing decision-making processes. Last but not least, effectiveness, which demands a rational administrative structure that supports scientifically designed procedures combined with administrative flexibility and low administrative costs. So, that was a quick definition and introduction to the topic of good governance. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, please make sure you like the video and subscribe to my channel and share it with friends or peers who might have an interest in the topic of good governance. See you in the next video in Kobe's world.